Hi, today we are going to talk about BigQuery BI engine and how it powers fast and fresh dashboards for all BI tools. I am Deepak Daima, product manager for BigQuery BI engine. I'm joined by my colleague, Alex Flexo, product manager for Looker. Customers today have multiple challenges when working with big data and BI together. First, for example, they have to manage multiple data marts around the data warehouse, extract the data, manage complex ETL pipelines. This creates operational overhead for them. Secondly, customers are also used to creating data warehouse and creating OLAP cubes for better response times and running nightly jobs to refresh those cubes. This leads to a trade-off between latency and freshness of data. Thirdly, they also want to be able to share dashboards with stakeholders and partners and so on. So any of these workloads have to meet the concurrency demands of these workloads. BigQuery BI Engine helps customers derive insights from data and analytics, which may have a short shelf life. To maximize the value from data and analytics, enterprises must understand the perishability of insights and act on them before they go stale. Always fresh and always fast vision of BI Engine aims to deliver on this promise so that customers can identify, classify, and act on real-time insights. BI Engine is a blazing fast in-memory analysis service for BigQuery that allows users to analyze complex data interactively with sub-second query response time and scaling for concurrency. BI Engine seamlessly integrates with familiar tools that work with BigQuery to accelerate data exploration and analysis. Sub-second queries are enabled by BI Engine's column-oriented in-memory execution engine. It also has scaling, which is intelligent, and not only does caching of only the data that needs to be used, but also creates a replica in a horizontal way to support concurrent access based on query patterns. Lastly, the native integration with BigQuery streaming means that new streaming inserts to the underlying base tables will be available in the BI engine as well. We have built smart tuning in the BI engine where we optimize the memory used by using compression. You can configure BI engine in a pretty granular way with one GB increments. Additionally, we can, in addition to the horizontal scaling that I mentioned earlier, we can also scale vertically and be able to allocate more memory based on usage patterns. BI Engine provides full visibility into the metrics, including refresh time, cache hit ratios, query latency. You can also look up the reserved and used bytes in Stackdriver monitoring for your project to monitor the usage of BI Engine. So how does BI Engine actually do it? As you know, BigQuery serverless architecture decouples the storage and compute and allows them to scale independently on demand. So this structure offers both flexibility and cost controls because customers do not have to pay to keep uh, their compute resources up and running all the time. This approach also allows customers to bring in the data into the data warehouse and start analyzing their data using standard SQL without worrying about operational overhead. The compute layer here, as you can see, is a large multi-tenant cluster that executes SQL queries. BigQuery BI Engine accelerates these queries even further as the data is accessed by these stateful workers right where the compute happens, further reducing the latency. And it does all while supporting the same interfaces like APIs, client libraries, or JDBC and ODBC drivers that BigQuery supports. 
we are really excited about the GA launch of this functionality, uh, which supports the BigQuery interfaces. We also support uh, materialized views that can be used by BI Engine to cache the data. In addition to streaming, BigQuery BI Engine is now also available in all regions that BigQuery is. We have also recently introduced join optimizations like left and outer join and inner join, improved broadcast and style join related queries, as well as integrated with the information schema. Information schema is a view that provides access to metadata about uh, things like data sets, routines, and tables, views, and so on. So in this case, you can actually view the information schema uh, for jobs and retrieve real-time metadata about jobs that may have used BI Engine to be accelerated, providing further insight into the metrics. We'll now jump into how BI Engine works across different tools. Uh, I'll turn it over to Alex to take it from here. Thanks. So with BI Engine, queries in BigQuery directly or in connected first party and third party BI tools not only have faster response time, but also can benefit from higher concurrency. So what this translates to is more efficient resource usage, faster ad hoc analysis, and in the end, happier users. And the BI Engine SQL interface means you can provide more people with the fast insights they need to make better, more data-driven decisions from whatever BI tools they use. So in our demo in a second, we're gonna take you through how different users might interact with BI Engine and uh, go through a range of both first-party and third-party tools. Uh, so we'll, we'll journey from Data Studio to Looker and then end up in Tableau as well and show how all these different tools can benefit from BI Engine. All right, let's jump into a demo to take a look at how different types of users might interact with BI Engine. So first, let's start in the BigQuery console where we can run a SQL query uh, directly in BigQuery that's going to leverage BI Engine. So here we have a simple SQL query with latitude and longitude data, as well as uh, querying total revenue. And now I'll go ahead and run this query against uh, this demo retail data set we have. And it's going to return the results. And I'll head over to job information, uh, where it shows you that BI engine mode is full, meaning that all the data to run this query was in BI engine. You can tell uh, that it executed super quickly. It says duration uh, zero seconds, which means it was a sub-second query. And uh, bytes processed is 2.61 gigabytes. And if I head over to execution details, I can see that it read over 87 million records. Now heading over to Data Studio. So here we have a, a world map uh, zoomed into the US with that same retail data. And we already have pre-selected um, city in this report. And now I'll go ahead and add total revenue to the size of this visualization. And then also add it as the color metric. And you can see the visualization updates almost instantaneously. And if I head over to this little lightning bolt tool, tool tip in the upper right hand corner, it shows me that it was accelerated by BigQuery uh, BI Engine. So that's a data studio query also being accelerated by BI Engine. Now uh, I'll head over to Looker where I have uh, an explore pulled up with that same retail data. So we have, um, uh, data uh, location information, latitude and longitude, and uh, total revenue. Um, and because Looker has its own uh, cache to help you optimize performance, I'm going to go ahead and uh, navigate over to uh, the right-hand side of the screen and uh, actually clear cache and refresh so that I ensure the query is running against uh, BigQuery directly rather than pulling from the Looker cache. So let's go ahead and run that. And um, so the query executed, we can see that we have also um, a map visualization here with uh, that same uh, revenue information. 
So now I'll head back into BigQuery and we can see uh, how that query executed against BI Engine also. So let me go ahead and re refresh the screen to make sure that uh, query is showing up. So uh, heading over to the personal history, query history, and I'll go ahead and click on this job. And uh, so here we see that the BI engine mode for that looker query is full. So again, that means that all the data to run this query was in BI engine already. It processed 2.61 gigabytes. All right, thank you. Back over to you, Deepak. So let's take a look at a partner tool like Tableau that also works with BigQuery. I'm going to work with the same data set as Alex for consistency. So let's look at the, at the total number of rows. It's about more than 87 million. So as a next step, I will create a view which shows me uh, order number of orders and uh, the total sum from for each city. So I'll go ahead and size them by the number of orders. So I'll first pick the the state and the city. And I want to report on total number of orders as well as rating. I'm going to size this by the volume of orders. So let's go ahead and call this orders per city. I also want to figure out the number of orders over time for further analysis. I want to report it on a monthly basis. for all orders. Now I'll go ahead and create a dashboard uh, to be able to view the cities and show the monthly order trend based on uh, the city we want to and further analyze. So I'll pull in the two sheets that we just created and I want to be able to filter based on the city I pick. So as you can see, the response of the dashboards and reporting is pretty snappy across the board. And this is all accelerated by BI Engine. And lastly, I would encourage you to sign up for BigQuery Sandbox to try it out and discover some of our industry solutions and also look at BI engine documentation and our quick start guides for various BI tools and the links below. Thank you so much.